It's therefore not true that 70% of the loan scheme goes to the rich. To us, this is unfounded, loose opinion. Actually, a conclusion that is not based on the facts as they were presented to the Equal Opportunities Commission. There are certain districts where we perpetually get low applicants and therefore needed special consideration under regional balance. Specific provisions have been made to ensure regional balance through affirmative action for Northern Uganda, as was approved in one of the board meetings. And consequently, 100 slots were set aside for the Northern Districts of Uganda, including the West Nile sub-region and the Karamoja sub-region, and also the islands of Kalangala and Vuvuma that have continuously sent in few applicants. I myself, I come from a rural district, Busia. I have known a school where we have only one chemistry teacher running around three schools. You can't get that in Kampala, you get it? Kampala will have a chemistry teacher in a particular school, a biology teacher. These are challenges and they are for real. And you know for us our work starts after the basic, second and a level. If there are fewer numbers coming from there, then we can't be blamed for giving fewer numbers of students. And that's why I want to agree with the Edward who said, maybe over time, really critically, we need to look at critical humanity programs for those areas on the basis of affirmative action. Yes, they have fewer scientists, but they have a few who can do what? Who can go and do arts. And this is something that we are discussing with the board.